Hello, we start now the second part of the first lecture, all right? You know, we stopped uh, at exercise three. We were talking about a positives and uh, we had the examples and then we do the exercise together. Let's look at the book. Each of the following sentences contains an appositive. Underline the subject once and the verb twice. Put the appositives in boxes and indicate if the sentences are correct, C or incorrect, I. Just I will it mean which are done for you. The daughter of a teacher, the new teacher is doing a good job with the children. The daughter of a teacher, and then you have a comma. The new teacher is doing a good job with the children. Madam, أنا عندي كاما يبقى الجزء اللي قبل الكاما ده is not the subject. It's an appositive. The subject is the new teacher. وطبعا the new teacher الكلمة الأساسية هي teacher is doing a good job with the children. تعالوا نشوف الجملة اللي بعد كده. Last year, a friend separated by two commas came top of her class. الجملة دي غلط. عارفين ليه؟ عشان حاجة واحدة بس. Subjects are not separated from their verbs by a comma. What is separated by a comma? is the appositive but not the subject. الجملة دي عشان تبقى صح كان لازم تقول last year a friend came top of her class. لكن مدام عندي هنا كما يعني just the introduction of the comma makes the sentence wrong. New Year's Day راس السنة يعني January the first معلش الكتابة معمولة بالعربي الأرقام New Year's Day comma, January the 1st, comma, يبقى that part which is separated by two commas is an appositive of New Year's Day, يبقى New Year's Day is the subject, is, is the verb, not a holiday in Egypt. يبقى New Year's Day is not a holiday in Egypt, يبقى this sentence is correct. Right. Let's look at number four. Finally, Mubarak Finally, comma, طبعا finally, جاي في الأول ده مجرد إضافة للجملة أخيرا. فلازم يبقى في كما. مبارك, كما, stepped down. This sentence is again wrong. لي, because the subject, مبارك, should not be separated from the verb with a كما. عشان الجملة دي كانت تبقى صح, يبقى كان لازم نعمل إيه? Yes. We should omit this comma. Mubarak stepped down. Today's lunch, comma, chicken from yesterday's dinner, tasted much better today. Yibba, today's lunch, subject, tasted much better today. Tasted is the verb. Yibba, this part which is separated by commas, chicken from yesterday's dinner, this is a positive of today's lunch. يعني الغدا بتاع النهاردة اللي هو فراخ فضلة من عشا مبارح tasted much better today طيب this sentence is correct the only entrance to the garage the door was left open all the time طيب فين الجملة الأساسية بتاعتي the door يعني ما أقدرش أقول the only entrance ما أقدرش أقول إن كلمة entrance is the subject لي because I have a comma ولا garage because I have a comma يبقى كل جزء ده مش مهم it's not the subject the subject is the door was left open all the time that's the rest of the sentence يبقى this sentence is correct the new wallpaper design the new wallpaper design White and pink stripes makes the room feel larger. Bardu again, the part which is separated by commas is the positive which you can omit. It relates to the subject 
but it's not the subject. هو نفسه لكن ما هوش subject بتاع الجملة يبقى الجملة هي ايه the subject is the new wallpaper design وأهم كلمة طبعا هي design makes the room feel larger makes verb the room object وهكذا طيب يبقى white and pink stripes دي ايه دي أبوزيت the sentence is correct In the heat of the summer, a refrigerator would not turn on. In the heat of the summer, a refrigerator would not turn on. The gumla di sah, lakin do I have an appositive here? I do not have an appositive. What do I have? Separated by a comma. In the heat of the summer. فحر الصيف. فحر الصيف. فحر الصيف دي يعني it's not the same as a refrigerator. Even this sentence is correct, but it does not have an appositive. A refrigerator would not turn on in the heat of the summer. In the heat of the summer is only a prepositional phrase. دي ملهاش دعوة بالأبوزيتيف. لكن الجملة صح. The AC... On the AC, the abbreviation for air conditioner. The AC, the most powerful of its kind, was finally installed in the reception. Was finally installed. Akhira netrakib in the reception. Right. The AC. That's the subject. Where is the verb? Was finally installed. Was installed. That's the verb. Right. The most powerful of its kind, جاي دالة إيه، بتوصف إيه؟ The AC أقوى واحد في النوع ده، أقوى air conditioner في النوع ده. What's wrong here? If it is an appositive, it should be separated by two commas, and I do not have a comma here. What makes this sentence correct is the addition of a comma. Then. The appositive, the one the most powerful of its kind, should be separated by two commas. إلا طبعا إذا جف الأول يعني لو قلت the most powerful of its kind, comma the AC was finally installed. تبقى صح. لكن مدام جاي بعد AC بعد النون لازم يبقى separated by two commas. طيب. Let's look at the last sentence. A teacher for so many years. The headmaster sometimes taught classes. The headmaster subject taught verb type a teacher for so many years. Comma. This is an appositive for headmaster. All right. Tiba el gomla di bardo sa. Type something else that we should not confuse. And this is rule number three. Present participles are not verbs. يعني إيه present participles؟ إنتوا عارفين كتير بنقول الفعل وفي ing اللي هو بنستعمله مع مثلا continuous tenses. أما أقول he is reading بقول is reading is a verb in the present continuous tense. يبقى إحنا عارفين حكاية the verb with an ing. The verb with an ing is is not a verb. It's part of a verb. يعني أنا ما أقول he is reading. I cannot say that reading is the verb. The verb is is reading. Reading is what we call a present participle. مش أنتوا عارفين إن الفعل لي تلات يعني a verb has three forms. يعني إن أنا بقول مثلاً يعني let's take a regular verb. إن أنا بقول مثلاً a play. Played, played. Play is the infinitive, the master, and the present tense form of the verb. لو بستعمله لل present simple. Played with the addition of ed. This is the past tense. وانت عارفين كلمة past participle. In played, the أخيرة. This is the past participle. Present participle بقى اللي هو الفعل. 
in its base form اللي هو play as a word لو I and G بقى playing هقول in playing is a present participle alright now present participles are not verbs but they are part they can be part of verbs they can be other things as well alright طيب let's look at the book present participles are not verbs A present participle, the الكلام اللي قلنا دلوقتي. A present participle is the ing form of the verb. It can be number one, part of the verb, or number two, it can be an adjective. إحنا المرة دي we are going to talk about present participles being parts of the verbs and being adjectives. برضو من استعمالات ال present participle إنه ممكن يبقى noun لكن we are not uh, discussing it as a noun in this part it is a verb when it follows a form of the verb be يعني a form of the verb be يعني نقول is was will be where أقول where doing was doing uh, will be doing هنا يعني there is a form of verb to be and The present participle follows it. فهتبقى جزء من الفعل. It is an adjective when it does not. يعني إيه؟ It's an adjective. يعني the present participle is an adjective when it does not. When it does not follow a form of the verb be. تعالوا نبص على المثالين دول. The child is sleeping in the car. The child subject is sleeping verb when to in in the car not a main part of the sentence but it adds information but the main part the main part of the sentence هو ايه the subject and the verb the child is sleeping طيب تعالوا نشوف المثال الثاني هنا طبعا is sleeping that's the verb in this sentence the child sleeping in the car was cold فين الجمله هنا الجملة يعني subject and verb the child subject was verb called complement of verb to be لأن verb to be ما يجيش لوحده لازم يجي وراه uh, لازم يجي وراه complement something to complete it the child was called it was sleeping دي حتى بقى ايه sleeping اللي هي present participle is an adjective طيب تعالوا نبص على exercise 4 each of the following sentences contains one or more present participles underline the subjects once and the verbs twice circle the present participles here مش circle here put in boxes زي ما هتلاقوها وهي محلولة بعد المحاضرة Circle the present participles and label them. Label them aul, yani label them as adjectives or verbs. Then indicate if the sentences are correct or incorrect. Right. The schools demanding the lowest fees will have the most students. In Madaris, if you take all the masarif, you take the most students. أو أكتر تلاميذ. The schools subject will have verb. The schools will have the most students. دي الجملة الأساسية بتاعتي. Demanding اللي هي present participle دي هتبقى إيه؟ لأنها ما جاتش بعد verb to be هتبقى adjective for the word schools. خلاص؟ طيب. Those applicants are completing their forms should wait at the office those applicants المتقدمين are completing their forms طيب أنا ممكن أقول those applicants are completing their forms بيكملوا بيملوا الطلبات بتاعتهم وتبقى الجملة صح those applicants are completing to be a verb Their forms to be object. لكن الجملة هنا ما انتهتش. And and you should wait. Should wait. Here, it's it's the verb of applicants. طيب إذا كانت الجملة 
الصعب those applicants أو الجملة الأساسية those applicants should wait at the office يبقى completing ما يش are completing completing should be not a part of the verb but it should be an adjective لأن أنا عندي الفعل أهو should wait يبقى those applicants completing their forms يبقى are is incorrect دي اللي بتخلي الجملة غلط alright طيب نشوف الجملة اللي بعد كده the carpenters النجارين are demonstrating furniture at spaces in the fair the carpenter the carpenters subject are demonstrating هي الفعل furniture it's an object at spaces in the fair prepositional uh, phrase تبقى الجملة دي correct The parties are organizing the largest campaign will attract the most voters. Time. The parties, يعني الأحزاب. And عندي are organizing. وعندي will attract. وعندي the parties هي الفاعل. Time. ده الفاعل. فين الفاعل بتاعه؟ زي ما قلت لكم لو قلت the parties are organizing the, the largest campaign ممكن تبقى جملة صح ويبقى ده الفعل بتاعها are organizing لكن انا عندي will attract يبقى will attract هي الفعل بتاع the parties و are organizing should not be a verb it should be a present participle used as an adjective فهتبقى ايه the parties طبعا الجملة دي is كده إيه incorrect إيه اللي هيخليها صح إني أخلي organizing adjective يعني ما فيش are you are the parties organizing the largest campaign هاملهم will attract the most voters هيجذبوا أكتر uh, أصوات the student getting 90 again in Arabic uh, the student getting 90% is given a scholarship. Type the student subject is given verb. يبقى getting هنا الجملة دي صح. لأن ما حدش قال the student is getting is given. يبقى the student getting الطالب اللي بيحصل على 90% is getting a scholarship بياخد منها. Type. The actor was trying to impress the audience was often interrupted. Time. The actor was trying, the actor subject was interrupted. Here, fan, if I was trying, the mafrut to basif, mafrut to basifa, and here, the manzar that it's incorrect. Uh, I should omit this verb and the actor trying to impress the audience, the mumassil, the bihawil. يأثر على المشاهدين uh, was often interrupted كانوا بيقطعوه the milk was turning sour uh, the, the milk was turning sour يعني اللبن بيحمد بيروب the, the milk was turning sour because of the heat in the trucks Carrying it to the supermarkets. And عندي هنا كم فعل. يعني ما عنديش هنا أي فعل بعد كده. يبقى the milk was turning sour. The milk was turning sour. يبقى هي دي الفعل. The milk subject was turning. Is the verb sour. يبقى this sentence is correct. Any citizen. Desiring official transcripts should complete a special form. نشوف الجملة من قبل ما نقول معناها. يعني any citizen type the subject desiring official transcripts should complete. مش should complete the is the verb. يبقى desiring صح لأنه فيش قبلها verb to be. And it is 
a present participle used as an adjective. If any citizen desiring official transcripts, أي مواطن طالب أوراق رسمية should complete a special form uh, علي إنه يملا uh, طلب معين. If this sentence is correct. خدوا بالكو إن في نهاية المحاضرة هتلاقوا uh, all the exercises uh, answered with boxes and underlined uh, subjects and verbs and so on. The advertisements were announcing special offers attracted many customers. Bartu, my fashi bandi were announcing verb, one the attracted another verb. Yabba, the sentence as it stands is incorrect. The advertisements attracted many customers here in Gomla. Yabba, we're announcing jihdaba adjective. Then every subject should have one verb. The advertisements announcing il alanet il ket bitolin an aurud khasa attracted many customers. The pepper seasoning the meat was very hot. The pepper, fin al fal, bit al fal, the pepper was very hot. Like if a seasoning, molnesh, the paper, uh, sorry, the pepper is seasoning. Here, kida sah, la in al fal hoa da, that's the verb, was. If the pepper seasoning the meat, Seasoning is an adjective and the sentence is correct. Man al gumla iba. Il filfil, il bitabil, il huwa bitabil, il lahma was very hot. Can, yani in this rule, rule number four, we said that present participles are not subjects. Here a bardu. هنقول إن past participles are not verbs. إحنا قلنا إن الفعل لي تلات أشكال. They play, played, played. Played الأخرانية دي اللي هي the past participle يعني نشوف بقى فعل irregular. يعني ما أقول مثلا write, wrote, written. Written is the past participle. Now written, I cannot say that written is a verb. Again, like the present participle, it is part of a verb. It's not a verb. Part of a verb. Present participles and past participles are not verbs. They are parts of verbs. All right? Uzai, ma'olna, in the present participle can be part of a verb. Or it can be an adjective. The past participle as well can be part of a verb or it can be an adjective. But I'll tell you what difference there is between an adjective which is a present participle and an adjective which is a past participle. بقوله كده بسرعة يعني نعرفه من قبل ما يجي في في ال في الكتاب أو في المحاضرات. بصوا. The present participle is an adjective when the noun does the action, and the past participle. Is an adjective when the action is done to the noun. يعني إيه؟ لو خدنا مثلاً washing اللي هي the present participle or washed اللي هي the past participle. طيب. I use washing if the noun does the action, and I use washed the past participle if the action is done to the noun. يعني لو أنا بقول مثلاً مشين أقول washing ولا washed. الغسالة هي اللي بتغسل فهقول washing machine but I do not say washing clothes دي هتبقى معنى تاني خالص ممكن أقول washing clothes بس ده هيبقى معنى مختلف تماما طيب هقول washed clothes washed clothes لأن the action is done to the clothes فاستعمل ال past parts أقول مثلا إيه boring انتوا عارفين بور يمل او يزهق يعني او بورينج بروجرام او بورينج فيلم لان الفيلم هو اللي بيزهق الناس فهيبقى بورينج لكن الاودينس نفسهم هقول بورد اودينس 
All right? Fame na ji. Tab tarum bo sa nal kitab ba. Past participles are not verbs. You know that. The past participle often ends in ed. But there are many irregular verbs. They ma olna masalan play, played, played. Like in olna write, wrote, written. In regular verbs, the simple past and the past participle both end in ed. It is also used as an adjective. Taib yani ma ul masalan he played football. Played is a verb. He subject played verb and football object. Taib. He has played football. Bardu. Played is part of the verb. The verb is has played. بعدين لما حناخد الأفعال we are going to know the difference um, between played and has played. He has played football. برضو it's a verb. طيب نيجي لتالت واحدة and let's correct this as well. The match played yesterday was on TV. شانا ممكن أقول the match was on TV. طيب Played yesterday, played, is a past participle which is used as an adjective. The match played, مش حول the match, playing. Or the team playing. The team playing. لأن the team, الفريق هم اللي بيلعبوا. لكن the match, بيتلعب. فحول the match, played. The washing machine washed clothes. The past participle is part of the verb when it is accompanied by the verb be or the verb have. يعني بقول هنا has played وبقول is played either verb to be or the verb have. When it is not, it is an adjective as in example number three. Okay. Uh, let's look at this example then. The machine bought yesterday will arrive tomorrow. The machine bought yesterday will arrive tomorrow. The machine edgy subject will arrive verb. Bought had to be an adjective for machine, right? لكن المشكلة إن أنا هنا عندي blank. The blank دي عايزة حاجة مهمة يعني عايزة مثلا subject ولا verb ولا ولا حاجة لا يبقى عايزة حاجة which is not a verb and not a subject and not even an adjective because I have an adjective here and I have a verb here will arrive. طيب أبص كده. ما أقدرش أقول the machine has bought ولا the machine were bought ولا the machine was bought ولا the machine it bought. ها؟ لأن دول أفعال ها؟ ودي سيدي is a subject which is the machine فما شح كرر تاني لكن just هي دي الحاجة الوحيدة اللي ممكن أحطها وما ما 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 تعملش حاجة because it just tell you tells you about the time just bought yesterday اللي سيدو بشرينا مبارا just bought yesterday okay that it it is clear that the subject is the machine and the verb is will arrive a and b are wrong and c is a pronoun a pronoun لي it which is not needed Answer D is the correct one because it does not add anything which is uh, a verb or a subject or something which we have in the sentence. Right. Let's look at exercise 5. Each of the following sentences contains one or more past participles. Underline the subjects once and the verbs twice. Circle the past participles and mark them as adjectives or verbs. Then indicate if the sentences are correct or incorrect. Right. نشوف الجمل اللي جاية دي. I don't know why they are in this font, but never mind. The job was offered to the man. 
was not accepted. طيب. The job verb uh, subject was offered was offered على بعضها كده ممكن تبقى verb offered the past participle were accepted past participle was not accepted دي برضو ممكن تبقى verb right طيب the job was offered to the man was not accepted الجملة دي على فكرة معلش ده مكتوب هنا صح لكن هي غلط incorrect ليه all the job was offered to the man وخلاص فهتبقى was offered فعل لكن ما ينفعش ان انا يبقى عندي فعلين يبقى مفروض ان الجملة الفعل الاولاني ده ما يبقاش فعل فمفروض يبقى ايه the job offered to the man was not accepted which is not a verb but it is an uh, adjective all right type type واحدة uh, the house advertised in the newspaper was sold type شوف كده the house subject was sold verb يبقى advertised دي مفروض انها مش هتبقى was advertised ده هي advertised يبقى هتبقى it's not a verb but it is an uh, adjective okay طيب let's look at number three then the cake was baked in the oven at low temperature the cake subject was baked verb لأن ما عنديش أي verb تاني بعد كده was baked in the oven at low temperature يبقى uh, was baked baked هنا it's the past participle and it's part of the verb it's not uh, an adjective طيب number four the books were recommended by the professor will be in the library next week طيب the books subject were recommended على بعضها كده it's a verb uh, will uh, will be it's a verb يبقى I cannot have two verbs يبقى هي the books will be in the library next week يبقى where recommended دي مش مفروض تبقى فعل مفروض تبقى adjective فهنقول ايه the books recommended by the professor اللي أوصى بيها uh, will be in the library next week the plane was attacked by the hijackers came under the control of the airport police the plane subject attacked or was attacked attacked is the past participle was بتخليها فعل طيب لكن أنا عندي هنا الفعل اللي هو came هو الفعل بتاع الجملة يبقى was attacked ما احناش عايزينها تبقى فعل هتبقى adjective يبقى هشيل verb be يبقى the plane attacked by the hijackers uh, الطائرة اللي هاجمها uh, the hijackers اللي هم اللي بيخطفوا الطيارات came under the control of the airport police the rebels suspected in the attacks were put to trial the rebels suspected in the attacks were put to trial. And the rebels subject were put put was suspected in the main past participles. Like in the who and the were put. The rebels were put to trial. If a suspected it's a past participle used as an adjective and it doesn't have a verb here so it is correct يعني لو كنت قلت the rebels were suspected were put طبعا غلط لكن the rebels suspected were put to trial the fish soup is made by my mother is tastier than that in any of the restaurants شربة السمك اللي بتعملها أمي أحلى من أي شوربة تانية في المطاعم طيب 
ده فيش سوب طيب ده فيش سوب فين السبجكت هنا سوب ولا فيش انا عندي اسمين اسم منهم بستعمله كصفه ده سوب ده سوب هي السبجكت فيش is an adjective ده سوب is made by my mother is tester لا is tester هي الفعل يبقى كان is made مش مفروض تبقى فعل مفروض تبقى the fish soup made by my mother made is a past participle here which is used as an adjective let's look at number eight the instructions are written in the manual must be strictly followed instruction subjects are written verb must be followed another verb if one of them should be a verb and the other should be an adjective. The instructions written in the manual في الدليل الدليل بتاع إني أشغل تلفزيون أشغل كمبيوتر حاجة يبقى the instructions written in the manual written هنا بتبقى هي uh, past participle used as an adjective must be strictly followed must be followed is the verb in the sentence Let's look at number nine. All ambassadors were invited to the National Day reception at the opera. All ambassadors, Gamia Sufara, that's the subject, were invited to the National Day reception at the opera. I do not have another uh, past participle. That's the only one I have. So it is the verb, part of the verb. Where invited is the verb. Any bills, bills yani fawatir, any bills paid by the visa card will be paid before the end of the month. Any bills paid, paid hena kena past participle used as an adjective لأن عندي will be paid هي الفعل يبقى الجملة دي صح any bills paid paid adjective مدفوع عن طريق الفيزا كارد لازم تندفع قبل آخر الشهر طيب تعالوا نشوف مع بعض ازاي بتيجي أسئلة الامتحان انتوا عارفين ان بعد كل سكيل كان بيبقى فيه كده سؤال وفي أربع اختيارات وبنشوف ايه الاختيار الوحيد هو بيبقى اختيار وحيد بس هو اللي صح ده معناه ايه ان احنا لما بنقرا الجمله بنشوف الجمله دي محتاجه ايه to complete it correctly طيب نشوف الجمله الاولانيه نجيب محفوظ born in cairo famous as a novelist طيب زي ما انتم شايفين ان born in Cairo محدش يقول ان born is a verb انا عندي نجيب محفوظ is a subject type born in Cairo and it is between two commas that means that it's not a main part of the sentence و born uh, born ما هياش فعل طيب يبقى انا هنا محتاجة فعل وانتم عارفين كمان ان اي حاجة الاقيها مفصولة في جملة between two commas That means it's a part of the sentence that I can just omit. Type an anji nagi mahfuz born in Cairo, famous as a novelist. Famous jima yani is abla verb. Type let's look at this. Became famous as a novelist. That's the verb. And became. And I'm not sure. And why should I say and? What am I adding? I'm not adding sentences or phrases or anything. مقدر شاقول برضو نجيب محفوظ born in Cairo he was لأن he هي نفسها نجيب محفوظ and you do not use the subject more than once. And he became برضو نفس الحكاية I should not use and. أنا ممكن كنت أقول عارفين إمتى ممكن أقول and لو أنا بربط جملتين ببعض زي ما هنشوف في المحاضرة التانية يعني لو كنت بقول نجيب محفوظ was born in Cairo كان بقى عندي اهو was born كانت هتبقى فعل لو في was born 
لكن هي مش كده كانت هتبقى نجيب محفوظ was born in Cairo and he became famous as a novelist طيب انا ما عنديش هنا فعل يبقى انا هنا محتاجة فعل الف و... الفعل الوحيد اللي عندي انا عندي became وعندي he was طيب انا مش عايزة he لان انا عندي نجيب محفوظ is my subject يبقى هقول نجيب محفوظ Born in Cairo, became famous as a novelist. كان ممكن أقول برضو was famous as a novelist. لو كانت just was. وعمر ما يجيني على فكرة في الاختيارات اللي زي دي عمر ما يجيني became was. لأن معناه إن كان حيبقى عندي دي صح ودي صح. هتلاقوا إن دائما اختيار واحد هو اللي بيبقى صح. Alright. طيب نشوف المثال اللي بعد كده. The river Nile blank from Lake Victoria into the Mediterranean Sea. Type. The river Nile. It's the subject. Final فعل ما فيش فعل. So I decide from the beginning that I need a verb. Type. And it flowed. Flowed is a verb. حتى لو ما نشارف flow يعني إيه. هاخد بالي ان انا هنا عندي فلود اي دي وانتوا عارفين اي دي دي بتبقى في الفعل وعندي نفسها برضو فلوز وعندي فلوينج يبقى معناها ان ده فعل فلو از ا فيرب طيب مش هقول ات فلود لان ات از ذا ريفر نايل اي يوز جاست وان سبجكت فور وان فيرب اي كان يوز وان سبجكت فور ماني فيربس But just one subject for one verb. يبقى مش هقول it flowed. وحتى flowed كمان غلط. لأن إذا أنا بتكلم على the river Nile, ب ب ب ب ينبوع من فين. يبقى this is a fact of life. It's it's a reality. ما أقدرش أستعمله في الماضي. And it flows. That's a verb. Flowing. أقول the river Nile. Flowing, flowing is not a verb, you know that. With flowing waters, طبعا ملهاش معنى خالص هنا. I only need a verb. يبقى I'm going to choose this one. The river Nile flows from Lake Victoria into the Mediterranean Sea. طيب تعالوا نشوف المثال الأخير. The tetracyclines, انتوا عارفين التتراسايكلين antibiotic. The tetracyclines, comma, antibiotics, comma, are used to treat infections. طيب, انتو عارفين ان انا ممكن تبقى الجملة بس, The tetracyclines are used to treat infections. طيب, ايه اللي حيبقى separated by two commas and does not make a difference in meaning? انتوا فاكرين طبعا البدل او الاوبوزيشن طيب لو قلت the tetracyclines are a family of antibiotics are used لا هو الفعل ده عندي يبقى انا I cannot use this verb the tetracyclines being a family antibiotics ما اقدرش اقول a family antibiotics A family of antibiotics. Right. Now, but see it. Ala choice number three. The tetracyclines, a family of antibiotics, are used to treat infections. The tetracyclines, their family is antibiotics. Now, all the their family is antibiotics. The here that I'm on the fail or fail or shogelena. Between two commas. After the subject, you know that you have an opposition, or you have what we call something that refers to the subject that is related to the subject but not the subject. The here I'll choose a the tetracyclines, a family of antibiotics, are used to treat infections. Thank you, and we meet again for the next lecture. Thank you so much.